Good morning, John. I'm here to debunk a myth. It's a simple statement that is really hard not to believe knowing what we know. The internet brings out the worst in people. We all know that the anonymity of the internet allows the deep evil inside of every human, except for me, of course, to spew forth in a fountain of vomitous hate. And yeah, I see it even on our content, on our sex episode of Crash Course Psychology. There were comments, thumbed up comments nonetheless, talking about how homosexuality is a disease. And yeah, there are two hosts on SciShow Space. One of them is male and one of them is female. I would like you to guess which one has constant comments about their appearance every time they're in a video. But you and your friends, you aren't hate mongers. So it must be other people, those people at the grocery store who seem so nice in person, but then they go home and the internet allows them to shrug off the cloak of cultural necessities and then they just turn and engage and become internet turd. But I want to make a hypothesis here. Anonymity doesn't bring out the worst in people. It just brings out the worst people. Imagine, if you will, a D-bag. He doesn't have a lot of friends because he doesn't like people and people also don't like him. This person goes on the internet and he says nasty things to people. He's racist and he's sexist. He doesn't want to express his beliefs in the real world because they are unacceptable. But on the internet, he not only gets to express his views to lots of people, those people then engage with him. It's a kind of exercising of power. He gets to get a rise out of people. It's thrilling. It's not scary like doing it in real life would be. It's a rush. The reason you don't run into internet trolls in real life isn't because they're normal people with deep evil inside of them. It's because trolls don't talk to people in real life because nobody likes them. This entire episode is conjecture. I've got no research to back this up, but it would be fairly easy research to do because I think internet trolls would be super excited about filling out surveys that graduate students in psychology gave them because they probably love to talk about themselves. Because it seems pretty likely to me that at least a good portion of them are narcissists. And honestly, I think understanding this and understanding those people is really important because I think the narrative of the hateful internet negatively affects the culture of the internet. People here and believe that comments are a nasty place. They are certainly a much more nasty place than we tend to interact with in the real world. The result is that fewer and fewer normal, not trolly people interact in those spaces and they get worse and worse. While at the same time we prove over and over again that the internet can actually be a place where lots of really cool and great things happen. But if we all think that the internet is less great than it is, it will become less great. And my even greater worry is that people will look at the comments of a YouTube video and say, look, a third of these people, at least, are just terrible. And then by extension, those people will assume that a third of all people are terrible and that all social spaces are hostile and antagonistic, which is very not the case. What we're looking at down in the comments is extreme selection bias. People don't want to comment because it seems like a hostile place, so only hostile people comment. Also, on any YouTube video, you've got a lot of people watching it. Just imagine for a moment that 100,000 people gather in a room. Now, what are the odds that there aren't going to be some bad people in that room? Zero. There are. There are going to be bad people in that room. So it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that when 100,000 people watch a video, some of them leave mean, nasty comments. Now, a big problem here is that YouTube has lately been promoting discussion rather than how many people thumb up a comment. So a comment will end up away at the top of the video because lots of people are discussing that comment. That isn't usually because there's a good discussion happening there. It's usually because that first comment was extremely inflammatory and wrong and people are arguing about it. And the trolls are loving it. As a person who has met a number of people, like 90% of them, are good. They're good people. Not because culture tells them to be good, not because they're afraid of being found out and they're waiting for that moment where they can be anonymously evil, but because they're people just like you and just like me. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.